the computer and the wheel. The electron, the normal stuck playing bare with radio broadcasting. The electron has been stretched and stretched and stretched. The poor electron and the computer. Wow, wow. Two inventions really blow the electron to pieces. Let's see if I got one of them hanging around here as a prop. I like, oh yeah. Give me something to crack it. I wish I had a hammer here. This thing I'm going to bash to pieces in front of you someday. It is a wonderful idea, horribly marketed. This is one of the most horribly marketed contraptions ever hit the planet Earth. This makes some of the cruelest things ever done to humanity nothing. Bacteria wanting to kill you is envious of this mechanism. Bacteria said, man, if I only had one of them, I'd have them. This is made a sucker of every human being walking. How it's marketed. How it's manufactured. The trick of it. How they're taking and making everyone here a sucker. Big time. Under-engineered, oversold, pile of haibi, way over cost. Necessary. What in God's name and how they're marketing the amount they're stealing from you is staggering how God they mark how do they launder it? I don't know how they launder it. They can only bribe so much. Then it becomes very obvious. Now it's quite obvious. It must cost a quarter or 35 cents to build one of these. Even the engineering. Or oh, as fast as they put them out. These things, between this and a cigarette lighter, you know, you're a sucker. <laughs> the cost of a cigarette lighter today, for the cost of building it, $4 for a cigarette lighter or Mickey Mouse thing, the last guy I know it's thrown away. What? Four bucks, five dollars. Come on. What it cost them t three cents to put it out? Four cents? Come on. Staggering. That's not markup. That's, you know, Liberty Balance. Yay, Liberty Balance. I, you know, God darn, I like you, Liberty Balance. Far more reasonable thief. Far more. Um. Oh, brother. Tom Donovan. Poor man got suckered. <laughs> he was the bravest man of all, too. Yeah. There's always a sucker, ain't there? They think they suckered Jesus. You didn't get Jesus. That's what I'm sure of. I'm absolutely sure. You cannot be sure. Well, I absolutely am. But the same way you're absolutely sure he rose from the dead, I'm absolutely sure he didn't. Ha <laughs> ha. Absolutely sure. By the same absolute sureness, you are sure he rose. I am sure he did not. <laughs> I am sure he went off with Pilate, laughing at how dumb you are. Jesus, I like the man. And I certainly don't like you because you're an opportunist hahibite. And Jesus made a fool of this whole planet. And I like him very much. You were mocking him. So him and Pilate made a fool of you. And you bit planet. I like both of them. Pontius Pilate. I like Rome. I like Jesus. I like both George Bushes. I like Bill Clinton. I like Mrs. Clinton and honor her above all women. I think you compare Mrs. Clinton to the Virgin Mary, you got gay Mrs. Clinton. Any woman that would have sex with a spirit and have a child that suckers the whole planet, man! And you want to compare her to Mrs. Clinton? You're loony. The Virgin Mary makes Mrs. Clinton look like she is the tramp of Harupa. Yay, Mrs. Clinton, one of the purest females that ever walked the globe. That makes the Virgin Mary look like a, well, I, I mean, lower than a, she's much lower than a prostitute. She had sex with a spirit. And the kid suckered you. What are you talking about? Yay, Mrs. Clinton. I'll say it on YouTube forever. Yay, YouTube. We got to be there first. Let Ripley's believe it or not, believe it or not. <laughs> Third with Stuck Spouting, the last remaining monarch, honors Mrs. Clinton way, way, way over the Virgin Mary. 
Finally, a little truth. How can you say this? Well, it's obvious. That's how. Why didn't a rock would scream it? Simple as that. Make sure we get this uploaded. Thank you, Mrs. Clinton, for giving me the ability to say that. It's marvelous. You see why I'm thrilled? I tell you, there's some wonderful things in the United States of America. Wonderful, wonderful things. There's one thing left to do. All of us have to get busy and uncover the coldest case of all, the autopsy of John Kennedy. Why was John Kennedy's murder covered up? We must uncover that. Now, if we never find out, we are the citizenship of this planet before we hit the grave. When we never find out who, that's fine. That doesn't really matter. What does matter is, why was it covered up? Why was it hidden in the name of classified? It was just, come on. And into the Kennedys, come on. No, 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 a real shenanigan happened there. Why is it covered up to the day? Why? What would happen to Nancy Reagan? What would happen to Dick Nixon? Reputation. What would happen to Jesus' reputation? He didn't rise from the dead. He went off with Pilate. And, and really, it was a setup for Peter, the idiot, who was trying to get him in trouble that night. That's all. Crucified. Get serious. The Romans aren't that dumb. How dare you say that about Roman government? You're an idiot. How dare you say anything what you say about the United States government? You're an idiot. How dare you say what you say about these government staff? You're an idiot. When you're such a hypocrite, how the hell would you know anybody right, wrong, or indifferent? How? And there's nothing but a hypocrite pointing the finger. Nothing yet. When hypocrites are pointing the finger everywhere, what if this is anarchy? Justice. Mockery. Tattletale anarchy. With fools. Hypocrites pointing fingers. Planet wide. Amnesty. International being one of the greatest ones of it. And no reason nothing gets done as long as Amnesty and International is not honest with themselves and blurts that crap out like a bunch of idiots chasing down Jewish Nazi guards. Shut up! Listen, for every Jew in trouble in Nazi Germany during the Holocaust, there was a lot of others in a lot more trouble. Why, Matt? As a Jew, I scream it at you. I don't want to be taken again. I was just one of many. Now you're going to fix what happened. Europe! That's what happened. Europe punishing people again. That's what happened. Lying about it! That's what happened. All the way into Germany and thick with it. Humans not honest with themselves, tattling and pointing fingers at anybody they can find and thinking it's cute. And the school teachers start at first, talking about humans born there as sinners. Bah! Nobody's born a sinner. No one! No one dies one either. The accuser gets them. That's all. Load this up. That's all this the accuser gets them. Are you one of the...